On today's show, the cost of 3D printing auto parts is coming down fast. Consumer Reports now recommends buying a Tesla Model 3, and we'll share our impressions of the new Acura RDX. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. Well, attention automakers! If for some reason you needed any more evidence that extensive over-the-air update capabilities is a good thing, look no further than Tesla. Just one week and two days ago, Consumer Reports announced it wouldn't recommend the Model 3 due to poor braking distance. But Tesla has since rolled out an over-the-air software update that has improved braking performance nearly 20 feet, and that was enough to give Consumer Reports the confidence to now recommend the Model 3 for purchase. CR is also renting a more recently built Model 3 from Tesla to see if other issues it had with the first car have now been addressed. But this should be a wake-up call for anyone that's been sleeping on this technology. Land Rover is developing off-road autonomous technology that will work in any weather condition. To help make it reality, the company is engineering what it calls 5D technology, which is a combination of acoustic, video, radar, light detection, and LiDAR data in real time. It will be level four and five capable. This technology is being developed as part of the Cortex project, which is a 3.7 million pound initiative by the UK to support the deployment of self-driving technology. Volkswagen is using its electric IDR concept and will attempt the fastest Pikes Peak hill climb by an electric prototype. How? Well, electric racers are heavy, which throws off handling, so less weight will be the key. The chassis and aerodynamic parts will be a carbon fiber Kevlar mix, while most everything else will be steel and aluminum. And the batteries are lighter, though less powerful. And even the racing suit will be lighter and have sponsor logos printed on rather than sewn on. The whole thing comes in at about 2,425 pounds. Could this weight saving snag VW the record? We'll have to wait until June 24th to find out. Still to come, the process to create 3D printed automotive parts is evolving rapidly. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. And by Borg Warner, propulsion solutions that support a clean, energy efficient world. Recently on AutoLine After Hours, we were joined by John Walker from EOS North America to talk about 3D printing auto parts. He had some interesting things to say about how the cost to produce parts is coming down fast. In the last two years, if we just look at the costs alone, I think it's pretty safe to say from two years ago to today, just the costs alone have probably come down about 20%. So there's a savings. And then when we look at new technologies, we're doing things. So I mentioned we got the process stable. And now we're figuring out ways to take this incredible process and make it faster. So we've added multiple lasers to our system. So our largest machine is 400 millimeters um, for the build envelope on the metal side. And we now have four lasers in that machine. So it's not a perfect factor of four faster, but say it is you know, 3.7 times faster because there's a few non-productive times that are in both systems. So now we've come down 20% in cost and we're almost four times faster. You can watch that entire episode right now on our website, autoline.tv or on our YouTube channel. Speaking of after hours, Make sure you join us this afternoon for an all-new episode. Our special guest is Brian McKay, the head of powertrain technology for North America for the supplier Continental. If you have any powertrain questions, just send them our way to viewer mail at autoline.tv. Then join us live at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for some of the best insider discussions in the automotive industry. Coming up next, our impressions of the all-new Acura RDX. Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. 
The all-new Acura RDX arrives at dealer showrooms tomorrow. We got a chance to drive the new model, and here are our impressions. The CUV is built on an all-new dedicated platform, and it's powered by a new 2-liter 4-cylinder turbo that's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. The powertrain performed well, and for those worried about not having a V6 option, the 4-cylinder provides good power. It was a bit buzzy when we stomped on the accelerator, but shouldn't be a deal-breaker. The RDX also features the fourth generation of the company's super-handling all-wheel drive system, which definitely helps in corners and on twisty roads. Fuel economy for front-wheel drive versions is 24 miles to the gallon combined, and all-wheel drive models get 1 mpg fewer. Moving to the interior, the NVH is impressive, and it's a quiet ride out on the road. There's also a new touchpad to control functions in the infotainment screen, which did take a little bit of getting used to. But not all functions are controlled with the touchpad. There are buttons for the HVAC and on the steering wheel. There's also good leg and headroom for passengers in both front and rear. The 2019 RDX starts at $38,295 with destination charges. Fully loaded model adds another $10,000 on top of that. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.